Y.E. Yang puts this in and gives himself an opportunity to get to 10 under par. Yeah, the par five, this is a tough little shot. This green slope severely back to front. That's well controlled, beautiful shot. He would bogey his last two holes to finish at eight under. Thomas Bjorn, who was in contention in Morocco, he rolls in this putt for birdie at the seventh. That got him to nine under. Move of the day, Paul Broadhurst playing his second into the par five third. Yeah, beautiful shot down the hill for Paul. Reachable par five down the hill, downwind, and a gorgeous play in here to about 18 feet. Really nice shot there by Brody. Broadhurst birdied the first hole, second, and then this for Eagle to get him back to eight under par. Yeah, pretty simple look right here, and looking at the hole all the way, he takes advantage of it. I'm going to go Derek Lowe's second at 16. Beautiful golf swing. Watch the result of this one. Doing a little showing off here on the third to last hole. Really good golf swing and just a beautiful play in there to about looks like three or four feet. Take advantage over at the par five seventh playing his third in here. Kind of a short layup. He's got a long third in here but plays it really well getting it all the way back to this flag. This is a terrific shot in here by Brody. Broadhurst would roll that in for birdie. And then at the eighth, yet another birdie to get to 10 under par. Yeah, good 25 feet, and this one just drips over the edge. Beautiful putt. David Tom's on the tee at the 13th, 157 yards. Phil has the wind there. Wind is from the right. Pretty good little par three here. This is a good looking shot with the hole cut in the back of the green. And Needs to stay there. You there. Go. Really nice. Yeah, good play. He's aimed well left. Let's see if he can commit to it. Really good putt there. Yes, wow. it was. Over at 17, this is the second for Ken Duke. And it's a birdie hole, but not from in front short, I wouldn't have thought. It only 127 today at 17. Good chance to get this close. Just a short club in here. It's got one under today. And beautiful play there by Scott. Right underneath the hole, exactly what you're looking for. Runner up at the Hogue Classic, to Padre Carrington, for his lone top 10 of the year, 15th in the Schwab Cup standings, and he gets that to fall. That's what I thought. It was just a wedge somewhere into the middle of the green, I would think. And that's really, really well done. That's a great strike there by Brody. Wow, what a play. 570 yards back into the wind with that front left hole location. Pretty easy hole location. If you can dial it in on a good line. I'm not sure. But it was it OK? He gave it kind of the one handed wave, but it got right up there and he's got a really good look. Perel for his birdie. At 13. Did he hit it? Yes, he did. Good putt there. Very nice. Take it for birdie at 17. Pass the flag. This back down, maybe moving a little to his right. And whatever it did, it went right in the middle, so that was perfect. Well done. Corner's a little eight iron here, down breeze, back up the hill, hole cut in the back portion of the green. Can ill afford to go long. Again, on a pretty good line. Well, I guess that was a beautiful shot all over it. A good opportunity for him here. These last two holes to pick up one, maybe two shots. I think he needs at least one, Phil. That looks like it's pretty good line. Yes, it was very nice play there by Tom's and he has a really good look here at 70. Ooh, that is all over. It sure looks good. Oh, yeah. That's what you expect to see here at 17. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. It's about as good a stroke as I've ever seen him make. Yes, it was. That was gorgeous. Nice birdie for Justin. It's playing as the 12th hardest hole. We heard the guys at lunch saying that, you know, it was hard, hard to. He'll let him pull the trigger. Looks like a pretty good strike. He's leaning. 
I'd that's say that's a pretty good shot right there. Uh, yeah, excellent shot. Rod's a great iron player, and that's a beautiful play. He needs to take advantage of this, John. He needs a look right now. Here in 17, with the, after this tee shot, they're the two chances. Oh, and he did. Good shot. That's a quick putt, though. Really quick putt. It's really quick, and you could hit this one four or five feet past in a second. Go in. Oh, wow. Wow. This is the best I've seen Brody putt in quite some time. Normally, Perel works it right to left big time. And there it is. Look at that. And well done. Good shot right underneath the hole. You know, nothing, nothing extra. Just gives it something for us to talk about, John. Like he I said, he has given us something to talk uh, about. Yeah, he's he's going to be something to talk about because he's going to make that from the fairway hole location way over on the right. Jerry's position, males will go flag hunting. Yeah, why Yang and Thomas Bjorn posted eight under. Great shot. Scott Perel for birdie at 17. Up the hill, pretty simple look right here. Just like that, yes it is. Nice two for Perel, well played hole. Paul Broadhurst on the tee at 17. John McGinnis with our leader. He took a little extra time to gather himself. And this looks like another quality iron shot, Lanny. Oh, it, it was, it's in there perfectly. If I was him, I would want to see it fly, see it land, see how the ball reacts on the green. Just give me a little bit more idea about what's going on. Green holes nicely. He sees that. He means he can be aggressive with his iron shot going in there. A little bit deep, but that's okay. That's a Got to be a little careful with the speed from there, but uh, he should be able to handle that okay. His speed has been spot on, especially on this second nine. He's had putts of this length quite a bit. That's pretty well done. He gave himself a few chances. He made enough of them. It's what you do when you're leading. You try and do the things that make life easy, and he did. Fairways, greens, putts. Paul Broadhurst. Look at the relief on his face. For the first time since 2018, he's in the winner's circle, the 2024 Invited Celebrity Classic Champion. As Brody picks up his sixth win on the PGA Tour Champions. Shoots a five under par. 66 in this final round. Congratulations, what a good fight out there. Yeah, it was, you know. Um, it's a strange feeling going out knowing, no, not knowing what you've got to shoot and, you know, the, the way this morning guys set a score, so you've got to go out. But, you know, you never sure what David was doing in front. And um, I just kept plugging away, really. Just uh, did some work back home with my uh, um, mind man. <laughs> and uh, uh, it seemed to work. You know, I just stayed in, stayed in the, uh, the moment. Didn't get ahead of myself, which I have done a little bit the last few weeks. You know, I've started tournaments really well on the on the Friday and then fell to bits at the weekend. So yeah, I'm pleased that uh, you know held it together today and felt as though I played really well around the back nine. And it's been a few years. Did that yeah. make it a little bit tougher? Absolutely. You know, you never know when your next win's going to be. You know, it's been what 2018. I did win in Europe on the Legends Tour in 21, but. Uh, you know, to win out here again is uh, pretty special. It certainly is. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. Overcame that bogey on the second hole with the eagle at the third and never looked back. 566 picks up the win. Number six, David Toms. Beautiful round of golf today. 600 par 65 finishes a shot back. Y.E. Yang and Thomas Bjorn posted the number that everybody was chasing, Lanny. But